Well, turning now to the growing mystery surrounding the death of a Georgia teenager. Students finding 17 year old Kendrick Johnson's body inside a rolled up gym mat at a high school. That was back in 2013. Well, now the latest autopsy is revealing new details in this case. Heather is back with those new developments. Yeah, big twist in this case. Local and state investigators, you know, ruled Kendra Johnson's death an accident. His parents, though, have always insisted that he was murdered. So here's a timeline of events. It was back on January 11th, 2013, when Johnson's body was found rolled up in a gym mat at a high school in Valdosta. Three days later, investigators for the first time called his death an accident. In September 2013, though, an independent autopsy found that Johnson died from non accident blunt force trauma. In June 2016, the Justice Department found insufficient evidence to support federal criminal charges. Well, tonight, a third autopsy now reveals that Kendrick Johnson died from non-accidental injuries. It finds his cause of death as blunt force trauma to his right neck and upper chest. Now that is a complete reversal from the initial autopsy that determined his death to be accidental asphyxia. So Johnson's family still believes their son was murdered. That foul play is suspected. They also accuse law enforcement and school officials of a cover up, which those officials deny. It is not known how these new autopsy results will have an impact, if they will have any impact at all on this case. Anthony.